does not show up on this, but hello everybody. It is Monday, August 30th. You can't, you probably can't hear it because of the tannoy, but um, welcome, welcome to O'Hare. Yes, last time we were here, it was three years ago, and I was flying back to Japan for a study abroad trip. It's time for a brand new adventure. Right now we're in very out of focus Terminal 5. Uh, today, three years later, or three, 39 months later, not quite the case this time. Um, yes, I am going, but for not a study abroad trip per se, but I'm gonna go on an airplane ride, so come along. It is about a few minutes to 8 in the morning the next day. One seven and the, 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 the hour flight and one border crossing later. Welcome to London Heathrow. Now, as much as I would like to say, oh, my flights are done for the day. Let's go to the hotel and get ready for the West Ham game tomorrow. No, that's not happening because one, there is no West Ham game tomorrow. And two, I have one more flight left in the day. And it looks like I'm walking a ways to get there, so... Joy, oh joy. The flight in from Chicago was lovely. British Airways did a great job dealing with the whole pandemic situation thing going on as well. One thing I do want to point out is I was that guy and booked the middle seat because I didn't want anybody sitting around me, which worked, and I got a road to myself, which was great. Didn't sleep all that well, but you know, that's pretty much a given on an airplane anyway, so. Economy class or world travel class was fairly comfortable. I mean, there's no one around to bump knees and stuff with, which is, you know, always a plus, but the seats weren't actually all that bad. I thought they were going to be absolutely miserable and painful, but no, they're just only a little bit uncomfortable. We got two and a half meals. We got a fairly large dinner as well as a decent sized breakfast. So I'm not complaining, but uh, I hope, I hope everything, all the footage and stuff on my end went well. And uh, yeah, we have one more like hour and a half plane ride left to go. So let's go.
over here. It's really echoing in here. Uh, what time is it? It's 11.30 on the 31st. Getting here was a nightmare. Glasgow Airport, please sort out your taxi systems, please. Thank you. Um, flight was really short. Um, one of my wheels is missing on my suitcase. I'm gonna blame O'Hare because most likely it was O'Hare's doing. Um, let's see. Apart from that, I just have to unpack everything. A few things I'm concerned about. My computer tower is one of them. There's a good chance one of the side panels just shattered to no end, but if that happens, that happens. I'm not going to complain about it too much. And uh, I'm just going to unpack and take it easy because I'm exhausted. So I'll probably turn the camera back on once I'm unpacked, but see you guys until then. Goodbye. So. It is 7 p.m. Um, I'm mainly unpacked. Let's see. Is there the uh, that is some part of Glasgow? I don't know where. But yeah, I am. Um, well, I took a nap when I got here, and uh, now I'm. I think I'm like 80% unpacked. I still have to sort out the kitchen, um, just clean up that stuff over there, clean up the stuff over here, go to the bathroom and then just tuck all the stuff away, but, you know, so far it's, I think it's looking pretty good. First dinner of the night is a uh, Hadouken chips. My body's going to hate me for this. But to compensate for it, I have... Scottish raspberries. Which were on sale at Aldi. So, I'm going to tuck into food, finish unpacking. And, yeah, that's it for my first day. Pretty, I mean, apart from traveling, it's been uneventful. So, I'm here, I'm in Glasgow. I'm here for school. This isn't a vacation, so I will be taking this seriously. This is grad school. This is a whole different breed. So, I'm going to take it easy for the night, and then I think do the rest tomorrow, and just see where it goes. So, 